Holy smokes! Are you okay? I have failed a lot in my life trying to pursue the perfect shot or idea. Get me out of here. In this video, I count down my 10 most disastrous moments caught on camera. Hey, I'm Dan Mace. I've carried this book around with me for the past 10 years. It's filled with the most challenging ideas I've ever had, and this show is dedicated to getting them done. Welcome to The Brew Show. I fucked up many times before and for the most part I've never shared these fails with you. Being a filmmaker I'm always trying to one up myself on each idea and this has led me to doing some pretty risky shit. In this video I'm gonna count down the 10 worst fails in my life from bad to really bad. In 2012, 10 years ago, I traveled through the Namib Desert in Angola in pursuit of the perfect wave that had never been ridden before. The car was driving broke down and I got stuck in the desert with no food or water for more than 30 hours. Till a local by chance drove past and put us in their car. We then had to abandon our car. It was super scary and throughout Angola when you're driving around, you just see the skeleton remains of cars. Because once a car breaks down or gets stuck in the desert, there's no saving it. This next fail made a great film and is still one of my favorites. However, it got deleted, resulting in me losing around 50,000 US dollars. I flew with two friends into the Brazilian Amazon to document a magic mushroom trip and the positive effects it has on depression and anxiety. I spent a month in total making this film. And when I published it, it was received really well and it got a lot of views really quickly until YouTube decided to delete it based on it being illegal. Even though where we were in Brazil, it was legal to take psilocybin. Very bad news. Um, last night, Dan was in a pretty bad accident. In the middle of 2018, I'd been living in New York for a few months working with Casey Neistat, and it was super chaotic, and I was usually just rushing all over the place. And on one day, I had my camera in my hand. I was flying down the road on my electric skateboard. It was raining. A car pulled out in front of me in the bike lane, and bang crashed into the side of it and broke my shoulder in two places. This resulted in me paying a large medical bill in America and then I still had to fly back to South Africa and get operated on and yeah, I missed a lot of work because of this. In 2020, I was directing a film where we needed a tiny replica, an exact replica of a Ford truck. We spent about a month getting a perfect miniature replica designed and 3D printed. When we started shooting, we realized that everything worked perfectly except the wheels. Which was absolutely ridiculous because we had to drive on this rotational set, so we had to change the entire concept then and there. No matter how hard I plan, bro, something goes wrong. Why did it come down to the last day, the last minute? I had to go to a kid's store close by and I bought a tiny VW car and then we had to search for someone who drove that exact car. This was a complete nightmare, it was really, really stressful, but in the end, the film sort of turned out okay. In July 2019, I flew to Mumbai to make a film. Even after I was warned about monsoon season, I thought to myself, how bad could it really be? When the cab picked us up, we were already waiting in around a half a foot of water, and it just continued getting worse and worse. At one point, the driver just stopped the car, lifted his legs, and started praying. This was no joke. It was really, really hectic. At one point, he opened the window for some reason, and water just started gushing through. My drone and B-roll camera got completely soaked, and they both broke. As well as my film was also delayed by seven days because of all of this. 
In 2015, I was in Mozambique making a film about the rats that can sniff out landmines, which in itself is a whole other story. When we got to the minefield, there were a bunch of mortars, which are explosives that are strong enough to blow up a large vehicle from under the ground. My dad saw a stacked pile and just assumed it was a bunch of already detonated ones. So he walked over to the pile and picked one up, and a security guard saw him and started screaming and running towards him, so my dad just suddenly dropped it. I remember seeing this whole process in slow motion. It bounced and landed on the opposite side of the firing mechanism. If it had landed on the firing mechanism, everyone in about a two meter radius would have just blown to pieces. This was a really big eye opener for all of us, the whole crew, and uh, yeah, we are really lucky to be alive. When I was 19, I dropped out of college and with absolutely no knowledge of business, I decided to start a business, a film production business. I seeked out and I got granted a really large investment, but I continually valued art over commerce and this landed me completely broke and with a company then in minus. I lost a lot of friendships because of this, a lot of trust with people and I had to work really, really hard for the next few years to just be known as somebody reliable again and somebody worthy of getting hired. Okay, to this day, this was still the stupidest idea I've ever had for a video. I decided to not try find a needle in a haystack, but rather a piece of hay in a needle stack. So I bought a bunch of needles and I hit a piece of hay in the middle. I got my friend Gabe and put a 10,000 US dollar reward on whoever found it first. It was a complete disaster waiting to happen. We got spiked by many needles, but luckily came out with no major injuries or infections. I wasted around 15,000 US dollars trying to make this film, and it was only live for about five minutes on YouTube till I realized how stupid it was and deleted it. Sir, you do that. This is the second worst fail of my life so far. I had been developing my career alongside Casey Neistat in New York City for about a year when I got myself deported from America by not having the correct documentation on hand at the time of being questioned in an airport in Ireland. I was then stuck between borders. I missed my flight, my apartment stood dormant for a few months and it caused a huge loss of opportunities for me. It took about two years, thousands of dollars and a lot of work to try and get my visa back. However, I am now all good to go. In 2008, just as I had finished school, I flew to Bali with a few friends to surf and write stories for future videos. About 30 days into the trip, I got into a car accident, which resulted in me getting drugs planted on me. Marijuana to be specific, which is hugely illegal and punished with the death sentence. I've created an entire video about this experience, which I'll link here as well as in the description of the video. But long story short, I was able to escape prison and get flown out by the South African Embassy. This was by miles the most dangerous situation I've ever been caught in in history. When shit goes horribly wrong, it's really difficult for me to zoom out and see that maybe everything does happen for a reason. I have no idea what that reason is. All I do know is that I'm still here every day making films. So I'm just gonna try and learn from the stuff that I could have done differently and surrender to everything else that I can't control and keep on keeping on doing what I love, which is this, making films. Other than that, don't forget, you're awesome, bro, and I'll see you soon.